Okay, so we're here with our first uh, build project of the camp. It's a hovercraft, which is really just a CD, bottle cap, and a balloon. Uh, and these have been made for a long time. It's nothing new here. They're all over the internet. Um, but they're still kind of cool, and they illustrate the idea of inertia really well. So I'm going to start off by taking the bottle cap, and I need to draw or drill a small hole in it. And I've got a block of wood here to kind of help me. And I'm going to take uh, um, pliers here and actually hold that down so that I can drill without it going everywhere. You want to drill the hole right in the middle if you can. Okay, so we got a hole there in the middle. I want to peel off any kind of plastic that might be here on this uh, so it's fairly smooth on that side. Uh, then I'm going to take uh, the bottle cap and glue that flat side onto the CD. It really doesn't matter which side of the CD you use. For people like the rainbow side kind of to be on the bottom. So uh, you're going to put that there. The, the trickiest part is gluing it so that no glue goes through the center hole onto the bottom because that'll act like a break. So you want to keep the glue away from the center hole but yet still so that it'll touch the bottle cap. Kind of like that. I want to try to glue it so the hole is right in the center of the CD hole as well. It looks like I've got it pretty close there. So I'm going to set that there. Another thing I can do, you don't have to do this, but is to kind of make a collar to hold the balloon up. So take some cardstock or construction paper and lengthwise cut off a strip about like that. And I like to fold it into, uh, into halves and then fold it again. I don't know if this makes a huge difference, but I think it helps to hold the balloon up a little bit. And then you can kind of put it around the balloon as a collar, uh, sort of like that. I'll show you what I mean. Once you've blown it up about that big, you can twist it, and then it'll keep uh, inflated while I put it down over the balloon. And you can see here that now when I untwist it, it hovers around like that. But the balloon kind of flops around a bit. Um, so using the collar can help, and I'll show you what I want to do there. You can either take the balloon off or you can just inflate it by using the bottom, whatever seems easiest to you. I've seen kids do it both ways. You can inflate it more than that, but the balloon tends to kind of flop even more if you inflate it more, so I'm not going to. I'll get the collar here. It's not cooperating very well at the moment. Actually, I did my collar too big. Let's try it a little shorter. I'm going to trim it down. seems to be better there. It's a little bit harder to twist with the collar on there. But you can see the balloon stays up better and it hovers around pretty nicely when you do it like that. 